This tutorial will be on a topic that has very little to do with actual photography and which I've already covered in another video, but what the hell, let's do it anyway. A while back, I posted this video showing a Photoshop workaround that allows you to post your vertical compositions on Instagram without being destroyed by the Instagram crop. Of course, right after that, dark mode on phones became a thing, so the white borders that technique creates look really bad now. I'm not sure that making Instagram tutorials is the best use of my time, but sadly, that is my most viewed video of the past year. Now, people keep asking me how to make black edges instead of white, so apparently, this is what people need. Now, you can go watch that first video if you want more info on how to make images look their best on Instagram. Right now, let's just cut to the chase and I'll show you how to add black borders and we'll be done with it. As with all things Photoshop, there are many ways to add black borders to an image, but this is the quickest and easiest way that I've found. First, make a flattened copy of your master image file. Then, select the crop tool and set the crop to 4x5. Crop the image to 4x5. Size and sharpen the image to 1080 pixels wide. I use the TK web sharpening action in the TK panel to do this, and it also conveniently adds my watermark for me, but you can use any sizing method that you like. Next, save this version as a JPEG and call it Instagram or IG crop. Now go back to the full resolution copy and back up in the history to before you cropped it. Click this button and then this button to set your background color to black. This is the secret to adding black borders. Now crop to 4x5 again, but this time drag the crop tool out so that you don't crop off any of your image and let the extra canvas fill in with black. The crop tool fills anything outside the image boundaries with whatever the background color is. You could also click on the background color and use the eyedropper to pick any color from the image or select your own color from the color palette. Whatever you set the background color to will become your border color. Now size and sharpen this version to 1080 pixels wide. Save it as a JPEG and call it no crop. When you post to Instagram, click this button to include the full image and then click this button to post multiple images. Select the Instagram crop version first and the no crop version second. Now your thumbnail will be a proper square in your grid, keeping the universe in balance, and people will see the Instagram formatted version first in their feed. Then they can swipe over to see the uncropped version in all its glory as you intended it, with the black sidebars matching the dark mode. Note that people not using dark mode on their phones will see black bars against a white background. And I have two thoughts about that. One, in my opinion, black borders on white look better than white borders on black, and two, what kind of savage isn't using dark mode? Now, before anyone asks about this in the comments, yes, there are phone apps out there that will do this for you, but I don't know what they are. I do all my web image prep in Photoshop anyway, so this is just how I do it. I'm sure someone else on YouTube has made a video showing how to do this with your phone. So instead of writing that question to me, just type it up there in the YouTube search window. Okay. That's all I have to say about that. Let's see if this video becomes my most viewed video of 2020. And if it does, I guess the writing is on the wall and I'll just have to become a full-time Instagram instructor instead. So thanks for tuning in once again. Now get out there and stop living your life through Instagram. <laughs>